Hey, welcome back, and thanks for joining me for another episode of the uh, Bandai A-Wing model build. If you saw the first episode, you'll remember I focused primarily on this cockpit here and did all the wiring for lighting and all that. So now we're going to go ahead and continue on with the main body. So we've got the main body here, and I'm just going to start by re uh, removing the sprues from the body and get this all taken out here. Just going to remove all these little pieces. So this is the bottom of the ship and these pieces here that I cut out, they fit right in here in this back portion of the bottom of the ship. As well as these guys, these are what the uh, guns hook into on the sides of the ship and they just fit right in these little notches like so on either side of the bottom. Then we got some other little panels here that I'm going to go ahead and remove. And these go on the bottom as well and just fill in the spot here. This is where the landing gear would be but I'm not going to be using the landing gear. So now we have the top and bottom. The cockpit goes in here. I'm thinking of putting my wires in the front there. If you look at this, when you take these two pieces, there's a lot going on in here. And when you put them together, there's not a ton of space in here. So I'm trying to figure out where my wiring is going to go. Um, definitely going to have to do some drilling of holes and notching out of some pieces here. But I'm thinking I might put my uh, resistors in this area, have all the wires in the cockpit go to the resistors here and then possibly feed through that square hole into the bottom. But now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to focus on these wings and this rear engine part here. Basically I'm going to focus on all the parts of the ship that are white at this point. So anything that is white in color I'm going to go ahead and remove and start getting those together. I've gone and primed all these pieces with the Tamiya Fine White Primer. The wings here. And all the little center engine pieces. I've also got these two little side pieces here. And these which go on them. These go around the area where the guns attach to the side, right in this area here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start removing these portions from the photo etch, cut these little tabs off. Then I take some sandpaper and I lightly sand the edges down to get rid of those nubs so that the photo etch is nice and clean on the edges. And then this piece here, if I can pick it up, these are very tiny, fits right over this here and it just adds a little bit of depth to this whole portion that goes around the gun area. And this piece here folds up and makes a 90 degree angle. So I've gone and I've glued these little portions onto the photo etch. And then I just need to take these and just bend them up and make a 90 degree bend here on both of these pieces. And now at this point you can see they're both done there and it will fit and there's 90 degree angle there. And I've gone and I've primed those with my Tamiya primer. It'll fit right over this little piece here where the gun attaches. And then the entire assembly will just slip right inside here, like so. And I've gotten both of those detached to the top side of the body here, and that's where the guns will be going. Also got my photo etch here. I have these grills that go on the inside of the engines. I'm going to go ahead and remove these at this point. And I've gone and I've also primed these with fine gray primer. And they will just drop right inside here like so and they'll sit right inside that little notched ledge inside there. So that's going to look really nice for the engines. 
and then I'm just going to go ahead and take some super glue and I'm just going to go around the edges and I'm going to glue these into place inside these engine portions. And I've got both of those done, glued in place. There's these clear pieces here that the kit comes with for the engines. And then there's also these two little white pieces here. These clear pieces fit right over the white pieces like so. And then this piece fits right inside this area here for the engines. And this is where I'm going to want to light the engines. But they fit nice and snug right inside there like that. And you can kind of see that inside there. My plan is to use the clear piece and that white piece to support my LED lighting for the engines. I'm going to have to drill a hole out the center of this for my LED and it'll light up the clear piece and come through that photo etch. So you'll see in these studio photos there's these gray panels here. Uh, there's a light one up top, darker one on the wings here, and a dark one on this wing. And I've gone and I've taped off those same areas. Here's the top body where it's going to get a little bit of a lighter gray shade on these panels. We have a light gray shade on this stripe, darker gray on this, and darker gray on this panel here. I'm going to be using my Tamiya XF19 Sky Gray and XF53 Dark Gray, or Neutral Gray. Um, this is going to be the Sky Gray. I'm going to lightly airbrush these panels just to give them a tint of a light gray. Same with the stripe on this wing. Then I'm going to use my Neutral Gray and do this panel on this wing and this other panel on the other wing. And then go ahead and I'm going to remove my masking here. And you can see those nice light gray panels. Got the one wing here with the dark gray panel. My other wing here with the light gray and dark gray panel. And there you can see all the panels, how they've turned out with their appropriate gray colors. This side piece detaches, but I painted it together since that's where it's going to be going. My light gray here goes around the other side, the dark gray, and my darker gray panel on this wing. I'm going to go ahead and use my German gray, Tamiya German gray, and paint the inside of these side portions. They need to be dark inside. Almost looks like it's a stripe on the side of the ship but it's actually the concussion missile launchers. So I painted the inside of those with my uh, German gray. And I painted this portion right here also with the German gray, which is where those side pieces go. They cover up that area there. So the side piece, it just kind of snaps right into this area here. And you can see all the German gray. It looks kind of like a stripe, but it's the concussion missiles. Now I'm going to go ahead and continue on and start working on all of these red pieces here. And I'm just going to go through and I'm going to remove all of the red pieces from the sprue here. And I've got all these pieces done here. I have them all out. Then I'm just going to go through and make sure I get all the little nubs off from the sprues. And I've got all those shaved off. They're all looking nice and clean now on the edges. I've gone and I've primed those with the fine white primer. I'm going to use some Viejo liquid mask and I'm going to start doing spots where I want the paint to be chipped away. Um, again, using photo references here from the studio model. So what you see here is fairly accurate to the studio model. As close as I can, I'm not trying to make it identical, but roughly in the same areas and the same type of 
paint chipping going on here. The engines and all, this little front piece here. This piece I'm going to just scrape with the uh, blade. So I'm going to use some Tamiya Flat Red. I've got that in this little cup here. And I'm going to start adding drops of Hull Red. And I'm just going to start adding some drops in here. And then I'm just going to start mixing this together and keep adding until I get the shade of red that I'm looking for. So now that I've got it mixed how I like it, I'm going to go ahead and start airbrushing my red mix over all of my red parts. Starting with this top portion here, the bottom portion. We have the front tip. And here we have them all painted. You can kind of see where that Viejo liquid mask is under the paint. You can see in this studio model, this portion here is a slight orange tint as well as these portions on this shot. So I've taped off that same area on this side engine here. And I've added a little yellow to my red mix to give it a little bit of a orange tint. And I'm going to go ahead and airbrush those same areas that were done on the ILM miniature. And you can see these areas here where there's like a little bit of an orange tint to them. Then I'm going to go ahead and just start rubbing away all of the liquid mask and revealing all of the paint chipping all over my red pieces. Just go through and just rub and scrape it off with my fingers. And I've got all those rubbed off now and you can see how it's looking on the engine pieces here around the edges. And on this piece here it just has some scratches. I'm just going to go ahead and lightly scrape paint away with my uh, blade here, revealing the white primer underneath. So this upper portion here for the cockpit, these little pieces go inside here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these in there. This one, this one slips over that one. And then this little piece just slides into the bottom for some extra detail. You can see that there. These little hose lines I painted with some fine gray primer. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to airbrush over them with some Tamiya German Gray. These are like hose lines that come out of the sides of the engines. They fit, if I pull this apart, they fit right inside this little portion here. And then they look like they're coming out of the engines and they run into the body of the A-Wing. So some type of like hose line connection there. And there we've got both of them in place. I'm also going to do a little extra light scraping. Uh, looking at the studio model, there are scratches horizontally across these engine barrels like this. So I'm just going to lightly scrape away some of the paint with a blade, revealing the white primer underneath. So this is the center engine portion. It's got this little piece here, which slides right in here. This is the housing for those four little engines in the center, and that just gives it a little extra detail there in the center of it. And then we have these little cone engines that fit inside these holes right here. And there we have the center engines. I'm going to use some Tamiya Neutral Gray and I'm just going to kind of lightly airbrush over this entire area. The studio model it's more of a gray, darker gray color than the rest of the ship. So I'm just going to use this Neutral Gray over this entire center engine assembly. So I've got both of these painted here now. Then I'm going to take some German Gray and just shoot inside these engine nozzles to darken them up a bit. And you can see how those are a little bit darkened up now. And I've also done some darkening on this housing that goes around them. And then I have these two little lines here, which I painted with the German gray and they attach on the corners here of this back plate. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those into position. And I've coated the entire thing with some Tamiya clear coat 
because now I'm going to go ahead and start doing a wash over this. I'm going to do a wash with just flat black. Start highlighting all the details inside these engine cones. And then start detailing all these other little parts on this back panel. You can see the wash over all this area here. And then I'm also going to go through with my rust wash, Viejo rust wash, and just add a little rust in little areas just to give it a little color and make it pop a little bit, look a little more old and weathered. And there's the back panel with the uh, little engines there. And I'm just going to take this outer covering and it just slips right over those four engine cones. And I've got some detail inside there as well. A little bit of rust and some washing. And there we have the mid engine section completed. So now we can move on to the side engines, the main engines I should say. We have these clear pieces here which go over these little white portions. And then again, like I showed you earlier, this whole area slips right inside the engine housing right here. And this is where I'm gonna wanna put my LEDs to light up the engines. So the first thing I'm gonna do is this guy here, I need to drill out the center of it. And I've got these two millimeter yellow flickering LEDs, so I need to drill a hole for these to fit through in the center of that little piece there. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with a little hole. Then I'm going to increase until I get to the right size diameter, two millimeter for that LED. And you can see the LED fits right inside that hole that I drilled out the center. Then I've gone and I've shot these two pieces with some black paint. And then I can take these clear pieces and just put them right on top over these little black pieces. And then you can see I stick the LED in there and it shines through the clear pieces nice. So I've gone and I've cut out the blade. I've notched out an area here for the LED for the wires and the resistor to fit. So when this is inside this little piece here, I can slip this inside the clear piece and that gives me a cutout for the LED to fit. And you can see that shining through there. So before I install the LED, I'm going to go ahead here and airbrush some flat black on the inside of this engine. Then I'm going to take some of my uh, Tamiya Soot Pastel and I'm just going to carefully go in here and just start smearing it around, trying to coat the inside, make it look like it's burnt black, like there's been some heat flowing through here. And you can see how that all looks, how it's all charred looking still has the white color but it's charred looking then with the test with the LED when I turn that on you can see how that's gonna look through that clear piece and through the uh, black photo etch it's looking really nice then we have these side panels which go on over the sides we have this one that goes on this side so I need to figure out where I'm gonna have my wires come out so I think it's, I don't want to use the very tip. I don't think this is going to be the area. I think I'm going to come out through that other block. And I've placed it on here. This is the bottom body. And looking at where I can come through, I'll probably come through this area here and drill a hole. That way it can come into the body and line up with the uh, other ones and come out through the bottom. So just double checking here. Looks like that should work just fine. This is the bottom portion that goes in the back. This is where the uh, ship is going to attach to the base, if I can get this put on. And this little piece here is where I'm going to have my tube for the wires to run through. And the wires will run right through that hole into the tube. So what I'm going to do on this bottom portion then, you can see right in this area there's a big space there so I should be able to drill some holes in these sides here for wires to come through notch out around the edges here because if I take the top 
this flap piece from the cockpit will mash this so I'm gonna have to come around the sides I should be able to come around the sides if I do some notches even and then have the cockpit LEDs go through the square into the bottom portion so I've done a clear coat on all this stuff because I need to paint them before I continue on with the lighting so all these pieces have been clear coated so I can continue on with some of the paneling so what I've got here is some German grain water making my own wash so that I can go through and do some panel lining I'm just gonna go ahead and start brushing over these panel lines with my German gray mix here and just filling them in and then after letting that dry for just a bit just buff away with a q-tip here all the excess revealing just the uh, German gray inside the panel lines and those little rivet portions and there you can see the entire top side has been done you can see how it's filled in the little rivet holes and all those panel lines I don't think it's too heavy once I get other weathering on here it'll tone it down a bit and then here's the uh, bottom of the A-wing same thing and then here are the two side wings with the uh, washing in their panel lines as well Then I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, same washing over all the red parts, filling panel lines, detailing around all the little raised areas, and I've gone and done that to all the red parts now. You can see the uh, panel lines and all the stuff highlighted there with the wash. The side engines you can see there around the barrel lines. and the wash on this little top portion that goes back behind the uh, canopy of the cockpit and there's some washing inside there as well so now I'm going to move on to the decals since I have the clear coat on so I need to do these decals and I'm just going to start taking all the decals and putting them in the appropriate places the two that we have on the uh, top we have several that go on this top red portion here these two that go on these little areas then we have a little one that goes on either side of the uh, engines and wing assemblies and we have a couple that go on both of these side pieces that go on the sides of the A-wing and one last little red detail here on the side so now we've got all these decals placed, the top portions, these ones here on this red upper portion, the little guys here on the side of the engine wing assemblies, and then these ones on the sides of the A-wing as well. So these LEDs are a little thick, I feel like, to fit underneath the uh, engine area where those barrels go. So I'm going to cut away the shrink tubing on these remove the wires that came with it because these are pretty thick and then I'm also going to shorten up this resistor the lengths of the leads so here's how those LEDs look now and then I went ahead and I shortened up the resistor length and added much thinner wires here so it'll be easier to run when you can kind of see a before and after shot of them there so with that being done, you can see here, I've now shrink wrapped my assembly and it fits in there really nice. So what I'm gonna do with the LED in place, I'm gonna use some of my micro crystal clear. I'm just gonna put it on the end of a toothpick here and I'm just gonna smear it in all around this LED and use this as the glue to hold the LED in place. And because it dries clear, you won't even notice it. Now I've got the crystal clear on both of the engine assemblies. Once that's dried, I take my liquid electrical tape and I'm gonna go ahead, while the light is on, go ahead and try to cover up any areas where there might be some light leak. I'm gonna use my liquid electrical tape to cover all that up. And you can see that's covered up all the light source. 
There I've drilled out my holes on the uh, barrels of the engine assemblies. You can see there the light coming through the hole there for my wires. So I'm going to take the wires from the LED and just feed it right through the hole and get them in there. I'm going to go ahead and pull the LED through and snap this barrel onto the engine. Snap the other side on. And then I'm going to give it a quick light test and there's the engine lights lighting up. And it looks really nice. These engines are pretty cool looking. The A-Wing is definitely a really neat design. But after turning lights off, I noticed there's some light leaks around the edges and also around the fin. So I've gone back and I've spray painted some black all over the inside portion here. Just to make sure there's no light leaking. So when I do another test here in the dark, you can see there is no light leaking at all anywhere around those red barrel areas once they're assembled onto the engine wing assemblies. So this is looking very nice at this point. So here we have both engine assemblies working with the LEDs. Then we have this mid engine portion here which just slips right on to both of these side engine assemblies. And there we have the entire rear engine assembly of the A-Wing. So I'm gonna call this episode finished. And next episode should be the final one where I'll move on to the final assembly of everything, getting it put onto the base, and should be the final reveal of the completed A-Wing. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll be joining me on the next episode and as always, thanks for watching. Hey, if you like watching my videos, please feel free to give them a like. And so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, click subscribe.